the grand old age of 88 years at a time when the life expectancy at birth in the country is put at 61 years and in particular spending 62 years out of this on the throne as a foremost monarch about a rare gift from the almighty creator the omnipresent and most compassionate the japanese culture for want of a better expression or analogy says that 88th birthday or beiju is known as a long life celebration in Ijebu mythology there are seven barometers or attributes for measuring one's existence these are longevity relevance success family or royal value affluence spirituality and above all character these attributes or barometers key into the existence of the 58th monarch of Ijebu nation obasikiru kayode adetono who clocks 88 years today and 62 years on the throne of his forefathers as the Awujale and paramount ruler of Ijebu land. Contextualizing the quintessential monarch who has best ridden the nation's traditional institution like a colossus with unequaled sagacity, objectivity, clarity of purpose, zeal, and undying love for his people, for truth, for the management of resources, and for so many other positive acts, is Ekulim. He is no doubt the longest reigning first-class monarch in Nigeria and has been a major actor in the socio-cultural, political and developmental history since the country's independence, having ascended the throne of his forefathers six months before the independence. With his six decades and two years on the throne, Obadi Tono has seen the good, the bad and the ugly aspects of the Nigerian polity. No wonder if he strikes the traditional institution like a colossus, a sagacious, courageous, charismatic, dependable and reliable traditional ruler, a statesman, an incorruptible monarch, Awujale Adetono, is known to always damn every demagogue, he is providentially always on the side of history and has weathered many storms that would have consumed lesser mortals. It is a salute to longevity and sagacity as Oba Adet on clocks 88 years, 62 of these as the Aujale and Paramount ruler of Ijebu land. Bumia Digun, OGTV News.